One. Which present will the girl receive? What would you like for your birthday, Maria? Would you like a new carpet for your bedroom floor? Your room's quite dark. It would really make it brighter in there. Hmm. Well, I did see a wonderful collection of short stories in a shop yesterday. I'd really like that. And don't forget, I'm going on holiday soon. A really nice leather suitcase would be great. Oh dear, I was sure you'd really love my idea, so I'm afraid I've already got it. Oh, Mum. Now listen again. What would you like for your birthday, Maria? Would you like a new carpet for your bedroom floor? Your room's quite dark. It would really make it brighter in there. Hmm. Well, I did see a wonderful collection of short stories in a shop yesterday. I'd really like that. And don't forget, I'm going on holiday soon. A really nice leather suitcase would be great. Oh dear. I was sure you'd really love my idea, so I'm afraid I've already got it. Oh, Mum. Two. Where will the tourists go last? I hope you're all enjoying this walking tour of Kingston. We visited the oldest building in the city, the castle. We still have the famous gardens to see and the trip on the riverboat, which we're going to do at the end of the day. But next, I suggest that we have a break for lunch here in the town park. There's a cafe just over there and plenty of seats as well. Now listen again. I hope you're all enjoying this walking tour of Kingston. We visited the oldest building in the city, the castle. We still have the famous gardens to see and the trip on the riverboat, which we're going to do at the end of the day. But next, I suggest that we have a break for lunch here in the town park. There's a cafe just over there and plenty of seats as well. Three. How much does the man pay for the postage? I'd like to send a parcel to Hong Kong, please. How much will it cost? I'll need to weigh it before I can tell you. OK, if you send this by air, which is more expensive than by sea, it'll be 18 euros and 50 cents. By sea, it'll be about half that, um, 7 euros 50 cents. I need to send it by air, so I'll pay the extra. But last time, I think I only paid 15 euros 50 cents for the same weight. Have prices increased? Yes, sorry. Now listen again. I'd like to send a parcel to Hong Kong, please. How much will it cost? I'll need to weigh it before I can tell you. OK, if you send this by air, which is more expensive than by sea, it'll be 18 euros and 50 cents. By sea, it'll be about half that, um, 7 euros 50 cents. I need to send it by air, so I'll pay the extra. But last time, I think I only paid 15 euros 50 cents for the same weight. Have prices increased? Yes, sorry. Four. Where in the theatre did the woman leave her gloves? Good morning. I lost a pair of black leather gloves at the theatre last night, but I'm not sure where. I know I kept them with me when I left my coat in the cloakroom. Ah, uh, we have found a pair this morning, under one of the seats. Oh, now I remember. I put them on my seat when I went to the coffee bar during the interval. Well, they probably fell on the floor when I came back. Well, you can collect them from the ticket office any time. Now listen again. Good morning. I lost a pair of black leather gloves at the theatre last night, but I'm not sure where. I know I kept them with me when I left my coat in the cloakroom. Ah, uh, we have found a pair this morning, under one of the seats. Oh, 
Now I remember. I put them on my seat when I went to the coffee bar during the interval. Well, they probably fell on the floor when I came back. Well, you can collect them from the ticket office any time. Five. Which dress does the woman like best? Oh, look! That dress with the spots is really nice. Shall I buy it? Hmm, it's a bit expensive, though it would look really good on you. <sighs> but that white one is really nice. You always look great in white. <laughs> This one with the flowers would look good on you too. And look, it's half price. Hmm. <sighs> I'm not very keen on that material, and I prefer the spotty one to the white one. Don't you? Oh well, it's better if you decide which one you want. Now listen again. Oh look, that dress with the spots is really nice. Shall I buy it? Hmm, it's a bit expensive. Though it would look really good on you, but that white one is really nice. You always look great in white. <laughs> This one with the flowers would look good on you too. And look, it's half price. Hmm. I'm not very keen on that material, and I prefer the spotty one to the white one. Don't you? Oh well, it's better if you decide which one you want. Six. What is the television program about? Hi, Daniela. It's Maria. There's a really good program you might like to watch on TV tonight at nine. That presenter you like, the woman who films elephants in Africa, she's doing a special program. Is she going back to Africa? Well, this time she's visiting the South Pole to study some of the wildlife there. It looks like they had a difficult time making the program. The weather was so bad they couldn't fly there. It took two weeks just to get there by ship. That'll be interesting. Thanks. Now listen again. Hi, Daniela. It's Maria. There's a really good program you might like to watch on TV tonight at nine. That presenter you like, the woman who films elephants in Africa, she's doing a special program. Is she going back to Africa? Well, this time she's visiting the South Pole to study some of the wildlife there. It looks like they had a difficult time making the program. The weather was so bad they couldn't fly there. It took two weeks just to get there by ship. That'll be interesting. Thanks. Seven. Which vehicle does Steve intend to buy? I saw Steve's wife driving his sports car the other day. Did you? He told me he was going to sell it because with three children he needs to get something more practical. You know, a four-door car with lots of space for luggage. Well, he's got a van which he uses for his business, but I suppose he can't really put the children in the back of that. I might think of buying that sports car, actually. Really? Now listen again. I saw Steve's wife driving his sports car the other day. Did you? He told me he was going to sell it because with three children he needs to get something more practical. You know, a four-door car with lots of space for luggage. Well, he's got a van which he uses for his business, but I suppose he can't really put the children in the back of that. I might think of buying that sports car, actually. Really.